Hello everyone. Good evening to you. Just like I promised, um, today's video is going to be on a garden spider, a uh, yellow garden spider, um, zigzag spider, riding spider, zipper spider. Um, those are all the common names that this one spider um, is called or as rec recognized as. Um, I found this spider in my garden or close to my garden actually on the side of my pool the other day and it scared the crap out of me because it's a huge spider. Um, I'm going to let you see this spider. I, I know I posted it in one of my other videos but um, it's been four or five days and this spider is still hanging around in the same spot. Um, I didn't want to kill it or anything until I did some research on it so I did some research on it and um, I came to find out that it is a beneficial spider um, to the garden. I have arachnophobia, so I am going to um, not get too close to it, but I do want you to see it um, so that if you see this spider that you'll be able to recognize it and recognize it as a beneficial spider so that you won't kill it. Let me get a close up as I can. Let's And the camera is not doing her any justice because she is huge. When I say huge, she is huge. She's at least three, four inches long. Um, she's a big spider. And I say she because she is a female. Um, the male spiders are uh, brown in color and the yellow on them are um, less bright. Um, they're not as vibrant as the female spider. And um, what I learned from this spider when I say she is beneficial to the garden, um, they like to eat um, all of the pests that are a nuisance to us in our gardens, such as aphids, um, ants, beetles, um, flies, um, grasshoppers, um, anything that they can catch in their net, um, flying insects, they munch on. So they're beneficial to keep around um, in your garden. So if you happen to see one of these in your garden, I'm pretty sure it's going to um, scare you or throw you back because they are big and they do spin some um, big webs that are like a zigzag um, formation. But all they're doing is looking um, to mate. They have a very short lifespan. They only live for about a year. And after they mate and lay their eggs, then they tend to um, go away they um, pass and the male spider um, his lifespan is even shorter so um, there it is I think she's getting a little aggravated because she's moving it's the first time I have seen her uh, move I'm gonna leave her alone and give her her space because they say that they are not a venomous spider but um, they will bite if they're if they feel threatened the bite is supposed to be similar to that of a um bee sting but um yeah we're gonna give her her space though because i don't want her to think that i'm threatening her but yeah they tend to hang upside down in their web and um they just tend to stay there until they can um attract a male spider and the male spider will mate with them and they lay their eggs and then they go about their way so i don't know what i'm gonna do about that um just yet because i don't know if i want a whole bunch of those laying around but i just thought that i'd bring you this video um as information since it is a beneficial spider okay that's it quick short video spider tip 101 Y'all have a good evening. Look at all the sunshine and the